Armitala is uh, one of the figures that's included within the group of the 16 elders. It's not one of the elders or the Stavira, uh, but he is uh, regarded as the attendant figure. And we know this from early writings by, uh, uh, from the Nartan Gyatsa, uh, said to be coming down through Atisha, and we know this through uh, uh, Shakyashri Bhadra Kashmiri, who brought and popularized the praise of the 16 elders, uh, brought this to the Himalayan regions in Tibet. So, Dharmatala. Dharmatala is supposed to be a Central Asian figure. He, he, he comes from north of India. North of India, Tibet on the east side and Central Asia on the west side. Now, Dharmatala, we, we're not even sure about the name. Is uh, the, the beginning part is definitely Sanskrit, but the La, the L-A part at the end, is at, added later by Tibetans. It's not really clear. Um, so, but Dharmatala, he's a male figure um, wearing lay attire. He holds a, a, a fly whisk in the right hand, and he holds a vase of a water flask in the left hand. <clears throat> and he carries a backpack, and above the backpack is an, actually a parasol, an umbrella that's attached. And uh, in the backpack, he holds um, all kinds of uh, books and begging bowls and, and paraphernalia that belong to the 16 elders. Um, now, also in the sky, just slightly above uh, Dharmatala, is, uh, is an image of Amitabha Buddha. Now, the image of Amitabha Buddha is because Dharmatala is believed to be an emanation of Avalokiteshvara, who has uh, uh, promised to help uh, the 16 elders. Now, also, below Dharmatala, uh, there is a tiger on his right side, always on his right side. And this is said to be an emanation, and an emanation a little bit strange, but an emanation that's coming out of his right knee. And um, there, there's a bit of a story about the tiger and how it, how it came about that relates to China and relates to the 16 elders visiting China <clears throat> and visiting the Emperor Taizong of the Tang Dynasty. So, so this is a general appearance of, of Dharmatala. And... Uh, we know that he, he is a, a character from, from this uh, praise brought by Shakyashri Bhadra in the 13th century, but we really don't see Dharmatala in art until really the 1300s. So the 14th century onward is when Dharmatala is, is really identified in art, always in the company of the 16 elders. And uh, this is very interesting because it's it's a it's a little bit of a time lag after the the concept of Dharmatala is coming into the Himalayan regions and Tibet. So it's a little bit later. It's only later that we really see the the art begin to to come up uh, with depictions of him, and. Uh, uh, always him in the beginning, and only later is he paired with Hashang. So, so Dharmatala, because he's mentioned in the literature, uh, arises sooner. Hashang, who is not mentioned in any primary or secondary literature for quite a while, um, uh, doesn't appear until much later.